and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall makeup tutorial. Fall, I think, like when it comes to makeup, is probably my favorite time of year because I love purples, I love pinks, I love any kind of them colors, and it is fall. So that is what we are going to be doing in today's video. We're just gonna be doing a full makeup tutorial, full purple, full lashes, full everything and now for fall for the new season I have a new backdrop a new kind of setup and we have new drawers um, and I love how this looks so thank you mum love you but I'm really excited to dive into the makeup I'm going to dive into some other palettes that I haven't really dived into as often as I would have liked um, instead of my James Charles palette also going to dive into some kind of old favourite kind of foundations and things um, I'm just going to mix it up a bit because sometimes I just go back to the same things and you're like, Gracie, hold on a minute, you haven't, you've got all this makeup and you don't even use half it. So, there we go. <laughs> but if you do get this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and do click that notification bell if you want to see me do this in the future. And obviously, don't forget to go and check out my other social media platforms across the internet. So, my Instagram, Twitter, the link down below is always and on the screen right here. But I will also link down below my previous video, which was a Disney series. Um, but yes, who's excited for October? Because literally, the Halloween tutorials this year, I'm bringing it this year. Like, last year, this year, I am playing. But um, let's dive straight into this brand new video. <laughs> primer today I have been really living because sometimes my skin gets kind of dry so I've been kind of on the lookout for some new moisturizers now I've had these in my drawer for a long time but I never really kind of go for skincare that often I always like my little bundle that I always use and they just kept in the bathroom the more than my actual skincare drawer in my bedroom I came across this Lockitan um, milk concentrate um, what's called moisturizer now this looks disgusting but it is so nice and I only use a tiny bit and it really hydrates my skin and it makes like everything quite so much nicer so I'm gonna moisturize I would normally do this on like a night time more than actually before I make but and I'm just going to take some of my clean and clear spray. Okay, so I'm going to dive in to my Sephora foundation. This is the 10 hour wear perfection foundation. I bought this when I was in Dubai and ever since I've come home, I've never used it. <laughs> so it looks like this is the video. It is very thick, but that's what we're going to do today want everything covered and blurred and just perfect. Right here, can you get a move on? For concealer, I'm gonna dive into um, Sephora concealer. I bought this while I was in Dubai as well. Um, I will link my review videos. This beauty blender is very big. I don't think I'm so forward. When I was like kind of decluttering my makeup and like organizing it in that for my new store collection thing, um, I kind of rediscovered it. But it's just not my favorite. Oh, I kind of love how dewy but full coverage this foundation is, if that makes like any sense. And I'm just going to take some Max Factor Cream Puff in the shade Truly Fair and just set under my eye. And for my face, I'm just going to take a big brush and stamp cream puff all over so I'm kind of more matte and like dewy 
I'm going to take some cleaning class for again. Um, for eyebrows, I'm going to go into my Primark pomade. What I like to do when getting like maximum pigment out my pomade, I just kind of spray my brush with like my Badescu or whatever I have in hand and it just makes the product one more pigmented, two creamier so it's not as dry and it just kind of slides on like way better. take the tiniest bit of my support conceal and conceal the under the brow to set my brows like if you guys remember if you've been here long enough my holy grail back in the day was this pixie clear brow gel now I literally thought this was shit and I kind of ran out of it but I'm gonna reuse it and see if it really was okay so for bronzer I'm gonna go into my new favorite Kiko bronzer literally an amazing bronzer I tried this out in a full face first impressions and I literally loved it along with some other Kiko stuff um, but it is just such a good one. Also I would like to start a um, like conversation about the brand new iPhone 11 and it's you know the keynote was about three four weeks ago but the last time I filmed was Oh, can't remember. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that I am literally in love with the new iPhone 11. I think it is so beautiful. Um, not really the 11 Pro though. More the uh, no, not really the just normal 11. But I love the new redesign of the new iPhone 11 Pro. I think it looks stunning. Um, and I think it's just even better with like all the new specs, the brand new camera, the new colour, midnight green, living for it all. I think it is going to be a beautiful phone and I just love what Apple's doing with the iPhones at the minute. Like the last few years they've really stepped up the game and I think it's made a huge difference. Now I don't seem like the kind of person that loves technology because I'm so into makeup but I do. I love technology, phones, like anything. Oh, I hate how my eyebrows are looking. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna go to the James Charles palette, but I just couldn't resist myself. My eyebrows were looking horrendous, still are, but James Charles palette kind of fixed it. Time for some blush. Um, the blush that I really um, I've discovered at the minute is this cream one by number seven. I think it is a really pretty color. This is the color, and I think it looks so stunning on the cheeks. Um, I had to warm it up first. Isn't it really pretty? Anyways, the palette that I have today is my Naked Cherry um, by Urban Decay. Love it. Got the perfect neutral tones. My God, I got this like, like nearly a year ago in November. And I just love the colours. And I've never really sat and played with it properly. And then I have my brand new Morphe 35V. When I was playing with this, it had some beautiful purple shades in like them kind of muted like pinky purpley tones that was really into and I never really got to play with and um, but I've like since I've got this palette I've actually created some really nice looks on like clients it's looked really bomb like really bomb.com the first shade I'm gonna take oh this could be a risky one but I'm gonna take seduced 
from my 35V palette. Um, as a crease shade. really pretty color it's very like grayish muted um i'm gonna then i'm gonna take the shade bing from naked cherry and go with it to make it more like purpley and like pinky right now just gonna take a clean brush and just kind of go over the edges to buff and blend. I kind of like into the style of like flicking out my eyeshadow recently. Like that's just been kind of the vibe that I'm kind of loving for. And um, I'm then going to take the shade Addicted um, and pack that on the outer corner. This is literally just like a very full makeup look. When you kind of expect that, it's just going to be mostly purple and smoky. I'm then going to dip into the tiniest bit of privacy from Naked Cherry. Sorry if I keep going back and forward in the both of them. So I really kind of like some colours from those. I'm then going to take a tiny bit of concealer and cut the crease. As you can see, I've only put like a light kind of layer of concealer. Just so when I put on the shadow, it's still got like a sticky base but like it's not as dry if you know what I mean I'm then just going to take the tiniest bit more privacy and just kind of building it up I'm going to take the tiniest gonna flat brush and take the tiniest bit of Drunk Dial from the Naked Cherry palette and pop that on the outer corner it's like a dark shimmer. I'm just going to pack this out of corner of the crease. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of. Where do you take these shimmers from the Morphe palette? I feel like they are rude. Get some set and spray, and I think. Um, these are the shades I've swatched from both palettes. Um, I'm then going to take the tiniest bit of... Oh my god, I just have no clue. Take Ambitious. There we go then. What a palette thing that came up there. Ambitious from the Naked Cherry. Right off the excess of that, spray the brush again. This is actually a naked brush, this is a naked three brush. And then I'm gonna go into the shade French Kiss from Morphe Palette. I'm just gonna try to take my finger, I'm gonna go all the way along, take a tiny more privacy if you wish, which is the deeper shade from Naked Cherry and that should be kind of the top part done a nice purple smoky if you have any fallout like me flick it away um then go into the shades that you've just took so it's seduced I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and dive into a bit of knockout not the best brush to take it on but whatever. And highlight the inner corner from taking a knockout. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, apply some lashes, apply some mascara, and I'll be back for to finish off the rest of the face 
and to finish off the lips. I'll be back in an itty bitty bit. Okay, so lashes are on, otherwise done. I'm actually really liking the eye makeup. Um, the lashes I used were just my ones that I really like. My Eye at Times Jordan Woods ones. Those are just other pair of lashes that I've just kind of stuck in there. Um, these are the LA Baby ones. I think they're really nice, really fluttery and like sexy and just kind of brings the whole look together. Anyways, time to spruce up the whole look with some highlighter. Oh, highlighter just brings the whole look together. Now, as you know, like what I really do love for lips is red lips, but it's fall. I mean, you can still wear red lips, but with this kind of a look, red lips wouldn't be the look, if you know what I mean. Ah. Um, I'm going to take this Estee Lauder lip liner. This is the Double Way Stay In Place Lip Pencil. Yes, I'm going for a nude. <laughs> This is a really gorgeous lip pencil, like so creamy, uh, stunning colour. This is in the shade 18 Nude. I'm then going to go over this with my amazing favourite lipstick from Avon. Finally, time for some, what's it called? Clean and clear. Okay everyone, so this is the fall makeup look of 2019. So it is fall, it is October, so it is time for the Halloween makeup series. Living for it, you guys will be wanting to see what I am up to. Um, it is literally gonna be a whole thing. I am so happy with my ideas and everything so far, so I just need to get them filmed and let you guys see them for Halloween because it is it is gonna be a year for Halloween for Gracie. Like seriously, stay tuned. Anyways, if you do like this video, don't forget to do a like, comment, subscribe, and do click that notification bell. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, and obviously don't forget to go and check out me on other social media platforms across the internet, such as, such as Instagram and Twitter, which will be linked down below as always. But um, I'm going to see you guys all in my next video. Stay tuned for Halloween week, make sure the notification bell, make sure you subscribe, everything like that. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.